So the question as you can see on the screen is we have given these equations and uh, corresponding values and we have to find the answer for these queries like here a to b it represents a divided by b uh, and the value is 2.0 similarly b divided by c and the value is 3.0 so these are the output for these queries and now let's jump to the intuition how we are going to solve this so let's discuss the solution so the solution is very simple build a simple graph with reverse edge relation and we will do dfs and find the source to target value so as you can see we have like i have built the graph with using the value that is given that is a to b we have like a to b 2.0 value and b to c 3.0 value now for example for this query a to c we can uh, like calculate the answer like 2 into 3.0 while going from a to b and b to c so initially the value will be 1.0 because 1.0 is the multiplicative identity of any number so if we multiply with any number it will give the same value so that we that's why we will start with 1.0 so if we go to one a to b and b to c we will get the answer as 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 and also we, uh, if we want to go to b to a so there is no relation so that's why I told you to build a graph with reverse relation. So while add, adding a edge A to B in the graph, we will also add a edge B to A with the value like this. So B to A and the value will be 1 by 2.0 that is equal to 0 0.5. So similarly, we will add the value for, uh, for C to B that is 1 by 3.0. Okay, so that's how we will build the graph uh, while adding the edges in the graph. So now let's answer this B, B to A. So B to A as we can see is 0 0.5 which is the answer. And now the query is A to E. So as we can see E is not present in our graph. So it will check for all the uh, 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 DFS in the graph and it will not find the target value E. So it will return minus 1. We will see in the uh, uh, code that how we are going to return minus 1 if we didn't find any target value. So now the uh, the query is A to A. So as I told you, I will start with 1.0 because it is the multiplicative identity. So the A to A will be source and target value will be same and it will just re return the starting value that is 1.0. So that's that for this and X to X. So X is not present in this graph. So it will return minus one. We will see in the code how we are going to do this. I think you get the intuition. Now let's jump to the code. Now, as you can see, we have given values and equations. What we will do, we will first create a graph with reverse relation as I told you in the intuition. So here we are adding edge from U to V and V to U. So as I told you, U to V will be direct value that we given in the values and uh, V to U will be one by the value. Okay, so that's how I build the graph. Now we will, for all the queries, we will find, uh, find out the values corresponding answers. Okay, for that, what we will do, we will do simple DFS as I told you. So as you can see, we are taking the input as uh, adjacency uh, map and also a visited uh, set and then uh, a source node and a target node and the value we will start from. So as I told you, we will always start from the uh, value as 1.0 because it is the multiplicative identity of any number. And then what we will do, we will do the simple the DFS and if we find the source equals to target, so source and the target um, equals so we will uh, change the source anytime we will do the dfs and we will move to the next node so if we find the source equals to target we will check if it present in the adjacency list or not otherwise we will return the uh, minus one as the answer as you can see here uh, if we find that we will return the just the value which we were calculated while doing the dfs here you can see we are calculating that is multiplying with the current to the next we are going uh, the next node we are going on so that's how so he, here max will represent if, if there is a minus one or there is actual value so there can be possibility that one dfs do the minus one result so we just not return the minus one we will see if there is any answer or not so that will store in the result and it will re uh, return the result here so in this way we will have all the uh, values for the queries in this answer vector which is a double and we will return the answer vector. So if you like the video, please like it. And if there are any better, please comment down in the comment section.